fancy viewers. Uh, it is Jennifer Bingham Hart from JenniferBinghamHart.com. Come to the mindset coaching. I am working out, as you know. Saying hi to my neighbor. <laughs> uh, walking along. Uh, today, uh, what am I talking about? Communication, community, and the language of love that we speak. Um, and also, I'm working out, so, and you should totally look cute, or at least silly, when you work out, by the way. So, I'm lovable and squeezable, like the Pillsbury Dough Man. So, <laughs> a little joke. I hope you laugh. Especially during times like this, it's been a little bit hard to laugh. Um, been a crazy week, as you know. And the reason why I bring up this topic about communicating, especially within the community, because we all have different languages of what um, makes us feel loved and appreciated. Uh, yesterday, I actually took a test, like for the second time. It's weird that I'm not sure if it changes every time I'm in a relationship what I my, what I need, uh, and romantic or even friendship, because every friendship uh, you can get different. You, the way you feel appreciated or cared for is different um, sometimes um, because the other person is different. Like the person that is giving, the way they communicate, the way they express love may be different than what you um, need or you're okay with whatever they're giving you. And the same with what's going on in the community or in the world is that how are you communicating to your friends about what's going on? Are you supportive? Are you angry? Um, are you doing anything about what's going on in the world if you um, don't know what to do? <laughs> That's a big kind of like, what, do, what does one do during these situations? And if you have friends on multiple sides, um, some people I know in the Facebook world is, have a hard time and they've been deleting their friends. Or obviously they might not be good friends, um, especially people who... Um, talking in hate, it's very hard to be friends with people um, that you don't respect. Like, respect is uber important in any relationship, uh, especially in uh, friendships and or love and just your neighbor even. Like, if you don't respect your neighbor, it's really hard to be like, yeah, I want to do something nice for them <laughs> or I'm going to mow my lawn to not be passive aggressive and piss them off or something like that. Like, people do this. Like, people react in very interesting ways um, when it comes to interacting with other people. I see there's some work. Um, some clients are too shy to ask for what they need um, from their bosses or coworkers. Like I have one client today, she's amazing, but she went in sick, she didn't have to, um, but she could have asked to go home and she decided to stay because um, she could not advocate for herself to say, you know what, I gotta take care of me. Um, and in part, it's hard because financially, when you have to take care of a household and you have to go into work sick, that is not freedom. That's not a place where anybody wants to feel or be. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a, um, not being able to choose because it feels like there are no options. But at the end of the day, if you don't have your health, if you don't have um, the people that you love around you, then you don't have very much, even if money it's slow to come in because you lose a few hours. Um, it's a hard, I'm not judging anybody who needs to do that because I see it every day. I work with uh, uh, many people who don't make more than $14 an hour. Um, not many people can live, no one can really live. There's always um, magic, <laughs> like really. You have to believe in good when uh, people are surviving on so little in New Jersey. Um, I'm sure in other cities or states it might be a little bit easier, but $10 an hour, $8 an hour, I have clients that make $8 an hour. Um, so beyond all this, the whole main topic uh, today that I wanted to talk about is how you communicate and knowing yourself enough, having the confidence to stand up for yourself when you need to communicate of what you need. Um, and to know that, what do you normally need in relationships? Be it your friends, do you, uh, be it um, your, your love partners. Um, I took a test yesterday, like I said, with my girlfriend in the car. 
And it surprised me because um, I had taken the love language test from, it's five love languages, I think it's called. And I've taken it before, like haphazardly, and I thought my first one was physical affection. And that's definitely high on my ranking. But acts of service are, are part of my primary love language. Like if somebody you know, makes me dinner or um, does something for me, like like helps me out in some way or goes like um, an act of service. It's like, I don't know. If you can look it up, you can find the information. Because obviously I'm not going to read the whole book in verbatim. Um, it's more about figuring out when you take any type of test of an assessment, you're trying to figure out who you are so you can express that to somebody in your life to have more confidence in terms of communicating, in terms of standing up for what your needs are. Um, especially during these times, sometimes you have to uh, to have conversations that aren't going to serve anybody. And sometimes you do need to step in and say, it's the world is an asshole right now. Like, the world is uh, not happy, and I'm sorry. Um, sometimes you have to do that if you love the people that are around you. Um, and that's not comfortable sometimes for some people. I don't know. This is going on a tangent that I didn't want to go on. But the whole point of this conversation, and I'm sorry because when I walk, I'm talking, um, is that... Knowing yourself, doing the work of knowing who you are. Hey, Kelly, how are you? Knowing yourself and how, what your needs are, whether or not you speak a certain love language, whether it's acts of service, kindness, gifts, um, what was the other one, physical affection, and quality time. Those are That's one book and one theory, but it can be translated into how you interact with the world. Um, because usually people give what they need. I give a lot of attention, like praise. I give a lot of praise and pumping up to people because I tend to need that. I don't like to be smoke up the butt type. Like, I don't like to bullshit people because I think it's, people can smell insincerity and, and I don't appreciate insincerity. But for me, one of my languages is acts of service. So if you do something nice for me, like... You get me my favorite coffee, I love you. Like, <laughs> and that's probably why I love my Starbucks people. They are like, they, they maybe it's because it's addictive caffeine, but really, <laughs> it's more about they're doing me a service. I appreciate service people so much because, you know, they get paid crap and they do so much. And I used to be in a service position. I guess I technically am, but it's a whole, you know, it's a little different ball game when you're serving people food or serving people who aren't always appreciative. Um, I guess it's true in every line of work, really. And um, so acts of service is one of mine. Another one is quality time, words of encouragement, and then physical touch. Those are things that are most important. Gifts, eh. <laughs> hey, Wee Jen, how are you? So, in terms of knowing yourself enough, in terms of what you need in terms of love, is that's how you can express to the world, your brothers and sisters, your neighbors, what uh, most people act in that way. Like, oh, I'm going to give my friend, like my neighbor friend, she's awesome. She's 87, she's smart as a whip. And she comes over and the way she expresses love is that she drops me food every random day. Like, I guess it's not so random, it's every couple days. Like, in part because she doesn't want to waste food. She's like from that time period where you don't throw crap out. <laughs> but it's also because that's her way of showing her love to me. And even if some of the stuff that she gives me, like potatoes, like I, if I didn't ever see a potato that wasn't fried again, I'd be happy. Like. <laughs> But I take it because it makes her feel good. And it makes me feel good to make her feel good. It's these weird things. And of course, sometimes I do need the food or eat the food. And I love the fact that she does that for me because my, the love language that I understand is like acts of service. And that's an act of service. So 
the whole point of this talk, I keep saying this over and over again, is basically get to know yourself so you can feel more confident in the conversations that you have with your neighbor, your strangers in the world, your lover, your friends, and family. Because once you know that, you get much more comfortable in, in asking for what you need. Because say, for example, your lover uh, never gives you flowers, and you really love flowers for some reason, and that's what, how you feel appreciated. And they don't understand it because they think, well, they're just dead flowers. Um, because they don't understand that language. So communication is super important. And when you know yourself, you can build your, build your confidence. That's what I was going to say. And today is Friday. And I'm changing things up on Facebook. I'm going and doing a little self-care. So this weekend, I'm not going to be on live. I may pop in here and there, but I'm not going to be on my scheduled 8 o'clock. And I'm still working out my private client schedule. So the 8 o'clock thing may not work because that's what private clients time. Um, but I'm working on that. So if you have any opinions or desire, click or comment below to what you would like in terms of seeing me weekly at the same time, every couple days, every day. Um, then I can help you and just be there if you need. Um, what else? If you need to contact me, you can call, uh, not call, uh, visit jenniferbinghamheart.com. Um, you can sign up for my newsletter, or you can go to my Facebook page, or you can hop by and see me here. Um, but please let me know um, what you like, how you would like this communication to happen, because I can't, no, read your mind. Um, and I just know what I need to do for me, which is this weekend I'm taking off. Um, if I hop on, it's just a random, it's not going to be like a strict scheduled 8 p.m. Um, need to take, take some self-care, especially for oh, this crazy week. I think we all need a good um, extra long sl slumber, good food, nap, exercise, a bath. A bath would be great. <laughs> Thank you for the thumbs up. Um, so, yes, and please comment below. Let me know how... Uh, how many times a week you want to see me, okay? I hope you have a great weekend. It is jenniferbinghamheart.com, and I will see you soon. Monday. I'll see you Monday for sure at 8 p.m. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.